years old, and a ram three years old, and a turtle dove and a young pigeon. And they said to him all these, and divided them in the mist, and laid each half against the other. But the birds he divided not, and the eagle came down upon the carcasses, and now found driven away. And when the sun was going down, how deep sleep fell upon Amram, and blow up a for a great darkness fell upon him. He said to Amram, No surely that I see shall be a stranger in the land that is not theirs, and shall serve them. And they shall pray to them four hundred years, and also that nation whom they shall serve will I judge. And afterwards they shall come house of great substance, and thou shalt go to thy fathers in peace. Thou shalt be buried in him a golden eight fold each, but in the fourth generation they shall come back here, for the iniquity of the Amori is not yet full. And it came to pass, I went to the sun and it was dark. The whole smoke and furnace and burning torch I passed between the pieces. The same day the Lord made a covenant with Abraham, saying that I see have I given this land in the river of Mizraim, to the great river, the river Hereth, the Kenyan, and the Kenyan of Mizizim, and the Chanmoni, and the Tisi, and the Perizzi, and the Rephaim, and the Hillary, and the Kanaani, and the Furiachi, and the Yebusi. Now Sarai, Abraham's wife, bore him no children, and she had a Mizraim handmaid, whose name was Hagar. Then Sarai said to Abraham, Behold, now the Lord has restrained me from bearing, I pray thee, go into my maid, and maybe that I may obtain children by her, and Abraham hearkened to the voice of Sarai. And Sarai, Abraham's wife, took Hagar, the maid, the Mizraim, after Abraham had dwelt ten years in the land of Canaan, and gave her to her husband Abraham for a wife. He went into Hagar, and she conceived, and when she saw that she had conceived, her mistress was despised in her eyes, and Sarai said to Abraham, I wrong thee, arm thee, I have given my maid into thy bosom. And when she saw that she had conceived, I despised in her eyes the Lord between thee and thee. But Abraham said to Sarai, Behold, I made is in thy hand, do to her as it pleases thee. And when Sarai blood partially with her, she fled for her face, and the angel of the Lord found her by a fountain of water in the wilderness by the throne on the way to Shur. And he said, Hagar, Sarai's maid, whence came thou, and thither wilt thou go? And she said, I flew from the face of my mistress to Sarai. And the angel of the Lord said to her, Return to thy mistress. And so that I said to her hands, and the angel of the Lord said to her, Go look about I see exceedingly, but it shall not be numbered multitude. And the angel of the Lord said to her, Go hold thou art with child, and shall bear a son, and shall call his name Ishmael, because the Lord has heard thy fortune, and he will be a wild man. His hand will be against every man, and every man's hand against him. And he shall dwell in the presence of all his brethren. And she called the name of the Lord, and spoke to her, Thou God cease me. For she said, Have I also here looked after him as he may? Therefore the well was called Behbeher Lahayah Roy. Behold, it is between the flesh and the red. And Hagar bore Abraham's son, and Abraham called his son's name, whom Hagar.